What is going on guys, DBG here, and today we're going to be talking about a really, really good batch of cards. A really, really good batch of cards, lads. So, um, like, we already have seen, obviously because they are gravity cards, we'll probably learn about those rewards a little bit later, but like, we've already seen right here, the Will Chamberlain. We all know Will's going to be freaking god. I Wilt's gonna be him. Wilt's probably gonna be better than Shaq. I'm not guaranteeing he's better than Shaq. Probably gonna be better than Shaq. I'm being honest, more than likely Wilt will be the best of those two players. But you can see the mellow freaking ball, lads. And 2K, if you are watching this, and I know probably some of you guys are, let me just tilt the camera a little bit. Please give Lamelo ball either like D Rose size up, Steve Francis size up, Donovan Mitchell size up, one of those three size up, or Trey Young size up works. And give him either the Trey escape, the Curry escape. Just give him just gas cigs. Like, Steve France is so fun. And, like, I'm cool with some of you saying, oh, they need, the cards need to be unique. Just make LaMelo Ball just fun. Because LaMelo's not that tall. Like, LaMelo Ball's not 6'8 this year. Like, LaMelo Ball, as far as I'm aware, is 6'6. Six, six. Yeah, LaMelo's 6'6 six, six this year. 2K. Like, LaMelo is not that tall as a point guard. He's not Magic Johnson. He's not, like... He's barely taller than Harden. Like, there's no reason not to give him ridiculous dribble six because look at the six he has. Okay, so sorry, he has his own size. No, he has the Lonzo ball size up. He's the Lonzo size up. He has the T Mac combo. The dude comes with slash dribble stuff. Obviously, he's gonna get quicker shifty. His release up very quick is gonna be nice. Um, Dame behind the back is okay. I can, I'm cool. Give him Dame behind the back. Like whatever you do, 2K. Don't just don't give him. The Lonzo size up and the Penny Hardway combo on the Pro Escape. Give him a very quick release and then switches behind the back, which is the one kind of thing that doesn't need to be switched. Switching that to Scotty behind the back. Because his leaner's fine. Like, because I know for a fact that's what 2K are going to do. They're going to be like, oh no, everyone wants Scotty behind the back. It's like, yeah, we kind of do want Scotty behind the back, but we want some variety. We don't want everyone to have the same SIGs. We just don't want everyone to have Scrub SIGs. But everybody has Kobe Escape. You've given like 100 players Kobe Escape. Um. Or is it, sorry, it's 900, not 100, not 90, it's 900 players you've given Kobe Escape. Like, why not give um, people the Kobe size up as well? They're like true leg spam. What people used to call the Kobe Escape. Like the size, the actual like size up. Give give the Kobe size up out. There are about eight or nine good size ups and good escapes in the game. The problem is the only players with the Trey Escape are Trey Young, Vinny Del Negro, and Michael Jordan. They're the only players in the game with that. Um, the tr Steph Curry Escape is only Steph Curry and Chris Mullen. The Johnny, are there any? There are other good escapes. There are other good escapes other than those two and Kobe. But like, just give more people some of those good sigs, and then give um. In terms of size up, there's Francis, there's Mitchell, there's few people. Mitchell are Don Mitchell and Jason Richardson. Um, there's Kobe. There is D Rose. There's a Kyrie's a really good size up. Pe a Kemba Kemba Walker's escape is really good. Kemba Walker's size up is really good. The problem is that they're not giving anyone an ADC. They're giving everyone Kobe Bryant escape. But Lamelo Ball is a player that has to get good dribble six. You just have to give him good dribble six. There's no reason not to. At this stage, no reason, no reason not to give Lamelo good dribble six. But now he's gonna be hell, Scotty, especially on next gen. So what are invincible cards? Invincible cards are getting 65 offs. He's gonna have every defensive off. He's got every shooting off. His stats are already basically perfect. But if you look at his animations, he's going to get the Pro 2 leaner. They might go and give him the normal the normal leaner. He already comes with quick dribble stop. And obviously, he's Scotty Pippen. He's going to get Scotty behind the back. I don't think they give Jimmy... I don't think they changed his dribble six. I think he still keeps the Kobe escape. I think he keeps quick dribble stop. Maybe, maybe they give him normal behind the back. But like a Scotty Pippen with all of these dribble six... Or sorry, not all these, but all these badges. Like he's already gone on defense. Like, his tendencies are going to be 100, 100, 100, just like Ben Wallace. Like, I know these are 95, 95, 95, 95, but still, they're going to be 100, 100, 100, 100, which, again, if they are similar to Ben Wallace in that regard, it's going to be a really good card, lads. Like, it's going to be a really, really good card. Um, Like, he's, he could be the damn best. He really could be the damn best. Like, tomorrow's going to be a really good batch of cards. And again, we're getting one to two Dark Matters. Like, I'm living in hope. Because it says here, new player incoming, and then another, and then a blank reward. 
I'm like living in hope on another dark matter. I doubt we get two, but like I'm again, I'm just li I'm living in hope. I'm sitting here living in hope. But Scotty's gonna be insane. Lamelo's gonna be insane. Even if they don't touch Lamelo Sigs, just give him quick triple stallings, release him very quick. Lamelo's still gonna be a god tier point guard in this game. He's got that shifty play skinny player build that moves faster than he should. Um, if they give him Dame behind the back, Dame behind the back can be very, very effective because people are expecting Scotty, so pulling off the Dame can be good. Um, yeah, I'm com being completely honest. Like, this could be a really good batch of cards. Like, sign the only issue with Signature is that the, ch the lower cards are normally expensive. Like, I'm pretty sure, was the last Signature batch that I'd want this guy Anderson? Who was, like, 8,000 MT? Just need to check the database there for a second. Um... I was like, want Toscano Anderson. Let's see, check. Was he the one? Did he come out in March? Um, Want Toscano Anderson, yeah. So he was like 7k MT. 4th of March. That was the last signature series. He legitimately was like 7k for some reason. And then Karan Butler and Bobby Portis weren't cheap either. Matt Bonner wasn't cheap. It was weird. And the Rubies weren't cheap. But like Dinwiddie and Randall and Corver and Hito were already cheap. So it was a really weird one. Obviously, they're... Diamond is now the lowest cards that are going to be in packs. And I'm guessing this is kind. This is going to be a decent enough pack drop. I'm guessing packs are going to be ridiculously overpriced. Like, there's no way I'm opening packs to Signature Series. I'm just putting it out there. There's no way I'm doing it. I have, even I have the MT. I'm banking on TakeOver. I'm banking on freaking guaranteed Dark Matter packs or something. Or TakeOver uh, Super Packs on Tuesday. But, nah, like, not a freaking hope. Not a freaking hope that I touch um, these packs right here. These odds are bad. But I think it's going to be cool. Like, if you really want Lamelo, go get him. There's going to be two of them, so he's not going to be that expensive. One of the versions. Scotty. Invincible could be the best two guard in the game. And Wilt could be the best power forward in the game. So we've got a great, great batch of cards. Let me know, are you guys excited? Are you guys excited at all about this? Do you guys think we're going to be getting a really good batch of cards do you guys think we're or do you guys think we're gonna be getting good cards out of these are you guys excited for these dark matters or are you guys like oh you know what i'm just looking for budget cards i'm just waiting for whatever the free dark matter is because i mean that's what a lot of people are excited for more so than anything and that's myself included i'm more excited for that free dark matter than anything else to be completely honest that would be like that's my biggest thing um that's my biggest takeaway and next week is going to be so grim Next week is going to be so damn grim because takeoff's not a thing anymore. We're not waiting for those takeoff cards and we're just in the last week of the season where we're just sitting there waiting for the new season knowing we're getting sweet FA. We're not getting um, playoff moments cards. We know we're just getting nothing. We're probably getting super packs Monday, super packs Tuesday. I think we're going to get season super packs without takeoff cards on Tuesday, on Monday. I think we're going to get takeoff super packs Tuesday. I then think Wednesday is going to be new season reveal. And then Thursday is obviously Thursday. We don't ever get it on Thursday. But anyway, yeah. This is kind of the end. This is the real end of what has been the best season of my team for me anyway in quite a while. In terms of like free content. So anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.